Hello everybody, this is Jessica and here was the snow globe I made in my last video. Um, here's one that I that I started. Actually, this is the one I actually put together on the video except for I used Midnight Blue Tattered Glimmer Mist to give it that sparkly shine. So, and then for this acetate, I actually used this embossing folder, which if I can get, because someone did ask me, and I apologize, I thought I mentioned it, but I guess I didn't. So it's this snowflake from Cuddlebug, and I just ran it, Provocraft, ran it through my um, Cuddlebug, the acetate, and that's how I came out with the snowflakes and then this one is a little bit more visible because it's white underneath there's the snowflakes anyways guys really quick it's already gone a minute I am going to be using teddy bear parade and doodle charms because live love and scrap Sarah has a blog challenge to every other Sunday to make a shape card and this time is a birthday card so I just love the snow globes and so I'm going to be using those two cartridges and Berry Sweet from Cards TV Mary. I'm going to be using Have a Berry Happy Birthday because Live Love and Scrap Shape Card um, is to be a birthday. Any shape you want, but it has to be a birthday theme. So there's a little bear holding a cupcake. Um, she just has like a shirt on and I didn't quite like that. I might have to dress her up with something different. So I decided to go with the clown. So I had a viewer ask me, she was having problems aligning um, clothing on the bears and the only thing I can think of is if she flipped, so if she cuts out the bear and just adhere everything to it. I'm not sure if you can pick it up but these bears this one I instead this is the actual front side so it would be this one this is if you start gluing it the bear backwards so this bear is glued on backwards so this side is the right side that's the wrong side this this bear is glued the right side and this one the wrong side the reason why I say that is because the ears on the bears are different one is rounder than the other. The round ear goes to the right and this ear goes to the left. And so here's the little um, clown outfit. If I were to put that on there, it doesn't quite align. Do you see? Um, you can still make it work, but it it will not be as perfect as with the bear on the right side. So you could always sh um, flip the clothing or whatever because this arm is longer. The left arm is longer than the right arm. See the bears together. Um, so see this one is longer than. So anyways keep that in mind. So if I put this bear really quick together, this is how that bear would look. And this is just using the accessories and the cuts exactly the way they have it. Now for this cut, you don't have to cut these extra pieces. So this is the belly, this is the, the, the mouth, and this is the nose. You don't have to cut that because this piece comes with this. So just make sure you look at your image before you start cutting out all the pieces because that sh saves you for a different bear you can use that for. Anyway, so this is the way this bear turns out to look. That's the way it looks. Now really quick. I have a few embossing folders and so here's one. This is just acetate and here's another one so isn't that pretty so I figured this one looked more like a girl and this one looked more like a boy so if I take this one card which I sprayed 
Glitter Miss, Silver. Can you guys see that? I spray that on the card. And again, I cut three, three of the snow globes. And one, two in white, one in blue. I put over the top portion, which was the shift. I sprayed that part. I put a little bit of ribbon. And this is just from Walmart. I did use my red tape to adhere everything. Um, here's some cute ideas. So here's that. So if I put this on top, and it's not going to be glued, look how pretty that looks. And I put this little bear that's all blinged out. And there's Cars TV. Have a very happy birthday. How cute that goes. Perfect. So this is Live, Love, and Scraps Challenge. And that washing machine seems to always go off when I'm doing videos. I used these um, bling from Joann's. They were two for three dollars. And so that would make a girl card. Really cute. Snow globe happy birthday card. Just want to show you guys the difference the look makes. So you can customize this. Do you see how pretty that looks? Almost looks like a gumball machine. You can make this look like a gumball machine. So here's the boy one that I did. And for these, I use 197 sequin mix from Walmart. This is the kids in the six kids section. So look how cute that bear looks in there. And just remember, I did pop these bears up. Just remember to put the adhesive on the acetate right where your image is going to go so you don't see the adhesive. Um, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I explained everything correctly and I didn't leave anything out. If so, I'm sorry. You could always add a bow too. I wouldn't necessarily maybe to the boy one, but maybe to the girl one I would. Boys don't like bows, nor do they like shiny stuff very much. At least my boy doesn't. So, there you go. So anyways guys, well thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you all for watching again. Bye.